tawny eagle hooded vulture definitely means there's food somewhere so i think those lions must have finished it and that's why they're at tamboti dam but there must have been some sort of prey item that they gone got i believe they are all full bellied so there must be some sort of food there but that is a tawny eagle we can tell just by its general shape they're quite a large eagle they have that brown appearance some of the time they're also a bird that has multiple color morphs and changes um, the cream colored tawny eagle has got to be my favorite of the tawny eagles it is a beautiful color that they have it's like a light pale cream color and then you'll find that it's got that kind of wedge shaped tail maybe not wedge is the right way to describe it it's rounded at the end i suppose um but it thins out a little bit and then those yellow feet and yellow sear with the sear going midway through the eye and that's how you differentiate it from i'm sorry not midway through the eye past the eye and that's how you differentiate it from the step eagle the step eagle will have a sear that goes only midway through so it's quite difficult to see it and, and it's tough to be able to kind of focus on it and be able to see it properly now have i got that the right way around is it the step eagle goes past or is it the tawny i think it's the step eagle that is halfway no i'm wrong sorry so the step eagle goes past the eye and the tawny eagle goes midway through the eye so that's that yellow part of the beak now i'm just trying to see on this particular individual if it does go just to the eye or if it extends past because the step eagle should start coming back too they're a little bit larger than what the tawny eagles are and so you normally can kind of see the the difference between them and it would be a little early for them now they normally arrive in around end of november december so i would be surprised if it was a step eagle but it looks like that's here only goes towards the mid part of the eye which would be yes mary and jason you say it's a gorgeous bird irrelevant of which one it is well yes it is a pretty bird and particularly in this morning sunshine but it's most definitely a tawny eagle you can see that sear now is just towards the center of the eye so that is exactly what it is now for those of you who are wondering what i'm going on about when you look at this bird it's got this beak and then it's got a yellow part to the beak and then from there there's the mouth extends backwards towards the eye and that yellow part is where it ends is midway between the eye and then on a step eagle that will extend past the eye so that's kind of the way to tell between the two of them as to what it is and that's what i'm talking about when i'm saying to id otherwise they're quite similar birds and in the summer months you've got to be careful because you see a bird perch like that and you immediately kind of think tawny but you do get these step eagles around as well and they are a beautiful eagle the step eagle and hopefully we will see quite a few this summer they come the name step eagle also comes from the russian steppes that's where it gets its name so they are migratory all the way up to russia as well which is pretty crazy right and we're going to leave our tawny eagle to itself and